Welcome to Bridging Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 26 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about displaying summary data in ASP.NET Grid View footer row. On this slide, you can see a grid view control displaying some product related information. Notice that we have unit price and quantity sold columns. And notice that in the footer row, we have total unit price and total quantity sold. Let's look at how to display the summary information within the grid view footer row. First, let's look at retrieving this data from the stable TPL product and then display that within the grid view control. Let's drag and drop a grid view control onto this web form. Let's auto format that. Let's choose brown trigger scheme. Let's drag and drop SQL data source control onto this web form. Now here, we are using SQL data source control to retrieve data. You know, it doesn't really matter how you retrieve your data. You may be using object data source or you may not be using data source controls at all. You know, because we are going to make use of row data bound event to compute totals and then display them within the grid view footer row. So it doesn't really matter how you retrieve your data. Okay, so it's going to work with with all, all data retrieval techniques. So first, let's configure the SQL data source control. Select your connection string from web.config file. Click Next. Let's select our table TBL product. Let's click Next, test our query, click Finish. Now let's associate the SQL data source control with this grid view. At this point, if we run this page, you know, as you might expect, you know, the grid view should display product related information. Okay, so what we basically want to do is we want to loop through each row and then sum up the unit price and quantity sold and then display that within the footer row of this grid view control. Okay, now, so to loop through each row, which event of the grid view control can I make use of? This grid view control actually supports an event called row data bound. So if you go to the properties of this grid view control, there is an event called row data bound. This event is fired every time a row is data bound with this grid view control okay from the data source so the data source here is sql data source control so every time a row from this data source is bound to this grid view control you know this event is raised so for example if i have 10 rows within my sql data data source control you know this event will be raised 10 times remember this event is also raised for the header and footer as well okay so first let's generate the event handler for this event row data bound event so I have this event handler here. Now let's write the code. So what do we need to do basically? We need to loop through each row. So that's why we are using this row data bound event. Okay, so first time when this row is rendered, I mean, when this event is raised, it will be raised for the header. Okay, so we don't want to do anything when this event is raised for this header. Okay, but when it comes to this data row, you know, that's why we are checking if e dot row dot row type is data row, meaning these data rows then what we want to do, we want to retrieve this unit price. And that's what this data binder dot eval is doing. Look at that, retrieve the unit price for that row. And then we are converting that to an integer and then adding it using this variable. So we are going to have this total unit price variable defined, which is going to sum up, you know, all the unit price. And along the same lines, we are going to sum up total quantity sold. Okay, so it's exactly similar. And we are doing it only if the row type is data row. Okay, on the other hand, you know, once we have finished looping through each row, finally, you know, we'll come to the footer. And in the footer, what we need to do, if the row type is footer, because remember, row data bound event is also raised for footer. So if it is a footer row, then we want to display this word grand total in this cell. Okay, now this name cell is actually second cell because, I mean, first cell because cell index starts from zero. So product ID is cell zero. This is cell one, cell two, and cell three. Okay, so in cell one, we want to display grand total. So I'm saying e dot row dot cells of one dot text is equal to grand total, and I want to bold that. So we are setting that bold property to true. And similarly, in this cell, we want to display total unit price. Since that is an integer, we need to convert that to string. And then we want to pull that. And we are doing the same thing for total quantity sold in this column. Okay, let's actually write this code and see if it's going to work. So, and just to speed things up, I'm, I have this code already typed. So I'm going to copy that and paste it within our event handler method. Obviously, now we will have some compilation errors because we need to declare these two variables, integer variables, which are going to hold the totals. 
So I'm going to de declare them as integers, total unit price. Let's initialize them to zero. And along the same lines, let's get total quantity sold. That's also going to be integer. And let's initialize that to zero. All right. Now, with this change, let's go ahead and run this. As you might expect, the footer row should display the totals. OK, look at this. Why is it not displaying the totals? Because, you know, by default, the footer row of the grid view control is not visible. OK, so we need to turn on the visibility of that. And to do that, all you need to do is go to the properties of the grid view control. And then there is a property called show footer. Just set that to true. All right, let's run that now. Look at that. The footer is visible there now. And look at this. Why is it saying grand total is equal to zero for both of them? Okay, that's because, you know, this is a common mistake that we usually do. Because remember, row data bound event is raised for every row. Okay, and look at where we have defined our variables within that event. So what's going to happen? Every time this event is raised, these variables are reset to zero. So this event is raised for footer as well. So by the time it comes to footer, you know, what it is going to do, it's going to set that unit price, I mean, total unit price to zero. And then within the footer row, there is, you know, the value is going to be zero. There is no value. So it remains zero. OK, so that's why these variables need to be defined outside of this event, because this event is going to be raised for every, every time for every data row and for it for header and footer as well so every time this event is raised we are resetting them to zero so now if we run this it's going to work as expected okay look at that we have the total unit price and total quantity sold as expected all right on this slide you can find resources for asp.net c sharp and sql server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day